Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis and in last video, my weekend video, Uncle Charles talk, I showed you guys how I I find my levels using Fibonacci levels and I gave you the level 432.7 as 1.382 Fib level, it's a level to watch and well we broke it down end of day, that is a bearish breakdown, okay, now before we talk about the plan for tomorrow and the rest of the week. I do want to talk about the context, okay? Because we look on the smaller time frame on a 30-minute chart here. You can see that even though we had a breakdown of a critical level end of day, uh, it was overall pretty choppy. Didn't get much action, all right? Market opened above that 432.7 level and bounce gave us a strong bounce. You guys can see that green candle, market open, strong bounce, came right into the uh, resistant level of my descending triangle pattern or fallen wedge, whatever you want to call it. But we got the rejection there based on this structure or pattern, whatever you want to call it. And we rejected. Overall, it was bearish. But I definitely wanted to see it break down this, this pattern. And at the end of the day, we closed right on the support level. Okay, right on the support level. Now, guys, I mentioned in my uh, general lean this morning that, you know, if you read the general lean, I wrote here, in my opinion, I don't think we are quite back in the trend phase where SPY will go to a new 52-week high just yet. I am favoring more complex and back and forth action this week. Okay, so, oh, although, uh, in other words, I was favoring a chop um, and that's pretty much what happened today and it pretty much what happens when we are in these type of patterns okay these are consolidation patterns all right it's, it's either building strength for more upside if you follow the trend and that's what we taught right consolidating for more upside or what most people don't want to talk about is that it's actually consolidating to shoot down further all right and we just watch the range of the pattern all right, and it's getting tighter, so I'm expecting a move either tomorrow or Wednesday. Powell does speak on Wednesday, I think. But I am expecting a move based on this structure, this pattern here, that we could possibly get a move, a breakout or a breakdown. I will welcome either or scenario, and I will trade it unbiasedly. All right, but what I will say is we lost this critical support level on the, on the daily chart. That is pretty bearish, and looking at this daily chart, SPY does look like it wants to pull back even more okay now before I, I go more into uh to the spy i do want to mention to all discord members okay anytime uh you know we have a choppy day like today and spy is a little difficult to trade you know keep you know i have a trade idea room where i give out trade ideas all right for us to trade i'm trying to find stocks that can be tradable for us when spy is chopping we can do something else like NVDA, I put 424.2 is my equilibrium level, bullish above it, bearish below it. So only bullish, uh, you know, look to long above 424, we look to short below 424. All right, and I'll definitely be talking about this stock later in the video, okay? Another trade idea I had was with Meta, and I put first supports at 288. If it fails, back test of breakout level at 285 in play. So I was favoring downside 288 uh, fail, and I wrote below 285, it's a false breakout. And, that, and if that fail, I'd be bear bias. All right, and I'll definitely be talking about Meta later in the video, okay? Here's an NVDA update throughout the day, okay? So whenever SPY is chopping, definitely take a look in the trade idea room. If you are a tier one, definitely take a look in the FANG stock, uh, the FANG MT levels. I have levels from a bunch of different tech stocks that you guys can use to trade. NVDA is one of them. And you can use the ETF levels to help you trade others ETFs besides SPY, got SPX, got Futures, the NASDAQ, DIA, Dow Jones and stuff. All right. So back to business at hand. All right. So what am I watching for tomorrow? Well, I'm watching for the breakout of this pattern. Okay. For tomorrow, breakout. All right. For this pattern is at 432.7. Okay. For tomorrow morning, it's going to be right around here at 9.30. It's going to be 432.7. Look to long above 432.7 to play this breakout. And it would also be a false breakdown setup and a recapture of this FIB level. So that will be your trigger to go long. 
recapture 432.7. Go long. All right? With 435, 437, 438.5, and 440 in play. All right? That's the bull case scenario. Now, if we get a breakdown or a gap down, all right, watch out for those gaps. If we get a breakdown or a gap down, to be bearish, it needs to get below. Uh, for tomorrow morning, it needs to be below 431. And I have, and remember, I have my 61.8 fib level from all time high down to October low, which is at 429.6. So a breakdown of that level would be very bearish and a big, big victory for the bears. And I would look to short if that level fails. All right, and if that level fails, I would favor. A back test or another test of this pink trend line that has kept spy in an uptrend since March 13th. The test for tomorrow would be at 426. All right, if 426 can defend, if that level's tested, it will, you know it would be a good look for the bulls. All right, and a good buying opportunity if you're a buy the dip type of person. Okay. So yes, below 432.7, stay bearish. And watch for the breakdown of 431, 429.6, 427.2. That's my 1.236 FIB level, 427.2. And 426 is based on the pink trend line. Below 426, bears take back full control. Right now, we are just in pullback mode, which is healthy for an uptrend. But below 426, I think this will be more of a than a pullback. It will be, in my opinion, a reversal with bears take back control all right so let's keep it simple for tomorrow above 432 if we break out or gap above 432.7 that's bullish all right stay long buys above 432.7 tomorrow with upside targets in play 435 437 438.5 and 440 if we break down if we're still below 432.7 tomorrow and we break down 431 Guys, be short bias. Follow the price action. Don't fight it. Be short bias with lower price targets in play. 429.6, 427.2, and 426. All right? Now, while SPY is still within this pattern right here, Triple Q actually broke down. All right? Triple Q actually broke down from its pattern. And the breakdown level that needs to be recaptured at open tomorrow is 358.5 all right if triple q opens below 358.5 watch for that breakdown of 357.5 all right below 358.5 bearish breakdown of 357.5 look to short with 356 354 352 and 350 in play all right now as far as being bullish it needs to get above uh, 358.5 and especially recapture 360 all right while spy was difficult to trade triple q was actually a lot smoother all right we had a breakout and start off in the morning with my 363 level this was all alerted in the discord for tier 2 members and up and we hit the level up there around 364.5 to 365 and look at this the greatest the second greatest trade setup of all time false breakout setup we don't call tops if you're a bear we don't call tops we look for a false breakout setup and that was what led to the downside if you missed that top that false breakout you catch the breakdown of other levels that we had here as you can see took the stairway down triple q's price action was a lot smoother than spy all right um and it actually gave us the breakdown of its consolidation pattern all right so as long as below 358.5 stay bearish Look for that breakdown of 357.5 to look for short with lower price targets in play, okay? I would be bullish if we get a false breakdown. This could be a liquidity grab, all right? Market makers took their time to build this range, this pattern for us. This could be a liquidity grab. There's a liquidity grab here. An initial liquidity grab here, but it ended up being a dead cat bounce. But be careful for tomorrow if it recaptures those levels. 358.5 and 360 definitely look to long play unbiasedly. With 361.5, 363, and 364.5 back in play. IWM, if I zoom out, 
I have my FIB levels from all time high down to October 2022 low as well for IWM. And the 23.6 FIB level is at 181.8. We lost that level last week. And today we back tested that level as resistant. We got selling pressure there. So to show follow through, I need to see a breakdown of 179.6. If it does look to short with gap fill target at 175.6 in play and 172.2 ish below that. I need to see 181. Matter of fact, I need to see 182. We'll round it up. 182 recapture to be bullish with 183.3, 185, and 187 back in play. Apple. Gave us a new uh, new all-time high. Uh, pulled back around 188.5 cents. All right. If you continue to pull back, it would be great to see a test of this orange trend line that has kept Apple in an uptrend all 2023 and pissed the bears off. All right. Breakdown of this orange trend line is now at 181. As long as above 181, bulls are still in control. But... Got to play it unbiasedly. We lose 181. This will be a very, very red flag for bulls. And a very good sign for bears. With 176 and lower in play. I think the breakdown could be big. If it's not big, we might get a false breakdown. Now, while tier 2 and tier 3s of my Discord have a lot more benefits than tier 1. One of the good benefits of having tier 1, not only that it's cheaper, is that I do give... My morning analysis for Tesla. All right. And I'll show you guys here on the Discord Tesla analysis. I had a bull case and a bear case. All right. And I wrote here, I will trust the bounce if Tesla can recapture 258 level, put in higher price targets in play. The high for Tesla today was about 258.3 ish. Could not clear that level. We got a hot stove rejection from that level. And it put my bear case in play. I wrote here, if Tesla wants more downside, I need to see price below 252.5 and break down 250 to be bearish with lower price targets in play. My lowest being around 240 for the day. And well, it hit around 240.6s, got pretty close. Uncle can't see the future, but that's close enough. And I feel very proud of this trade idea if you was a tier one member or higher. And you remember I said to be bearish, Below 250, that was a nice, almost a nice $10 move right here, okay? Now, as far as the, as, as the chart goes, we do have a head and shoulder pattern. All right, we do have a head and shoulder pattern with the neckline, it was at 250, all right? So as long as Tesla is below 250, I am favoring more downside. I am bear bias on the Tesla. I will only be bullish if 250 is recaptured to cancel this setup. Otherwise, this head and shoulder pattern is looking beautiful. And as long as below 250, it would be better to be a bear. Right now, I have the FIB level at 242.5. As long as below, stay bearish as well. If we can clear that, recapture that, we might get a probably a bounce up to retest and confirm the, le the breakdown at the neckline. But if we can stay below 252.5, I am favoring a lot more downside, guys. 235.5, 231, and possibly even lower than that. All right. Now, here is Meta. I mentioned we were going to talk about Meta. We, here it is. I'm going to do this more regularly because Meta is a, it's a very volatile stock. Uh, you know, even when it's chopping, it still gets some good three, five, six dollar moves intraday. And with SPY acting the way it's acting, you know, I, I need more stocks that I want to trade and cover for you guys that are actually volatile and we get some good moves, all right? So I showed you guys earlier I had a trade idea to show up below 288. And if you and if you follow this trade, holy moly, you would have made a good amount of money and you would love Uncle Chartis right now. Hopefully you, you love Uncle Chartis. Um, so based on this triangle pattern, false breakout, and we also got breakdown, all right? Just both are bearish. And to recapture, you need to recapture 280. If Meta can recapture 280, I would, you know, favor some type of bounce. I don't know if it's a legit bounce or a dead cap bounce, but above 280, I think it would be worth a shot to catch a level-to-level -level move to the upside. 
with some longs with 281.5 and 284.5 in play. But 280 must recapture. As long as below 280, I am bare biased. Look for the breakdown of 278. All right, look for the breakdown of 278 with 276, 274.5, and 271.5 in play. Stay bearish below 280, get bullish, or at least short-term bullish, above 284 meta. NVDA, we had this amazing, amazing trade. I showed you guys earlier one of my trade ideas was to be bearish on NVDA below 424. We had a false breakout set up the greatest the second greatest trade setup of all time. False breakout setup of the 424 level broke down. Look at that. Holy moly. I, you know, if you guys were planning on going to Disney World like Uncle Charters and you caught this trade, you probably could afford to go now. Um, and then, you know, I give NVDA updates. I try to do it throughout the day because it's such an amazing stock to trade. I wrote here around 11.36 a.m., uh, from here, resistance at 414. No longs unless these level recapture. All right. But overall, if NVDA want more downside, 412 must fail support to put lower targets in play. Holy moly, around after an amazing breakdown already from 424 breakdown and lower to 412 ish, we got the breakdown of 412 as well. Holy moly, look at that breakdown. I almost wanted to cry. I'm telling you guys, I almost wanted to cry today because how amazing it was. Breakdown 412 right here. I'll change that color to yellow so it can be very nice and bright. Broke down 412 and pushed down even more. Got as low as 401. As low as 401. Perfectly off 401. Guys, I write the levels of NVDA if you're a tier 1 member in my FANG stocks. And you look at this, guys. Look at my support level for NVDA. What's the last level? 401 holy moly is it is it right to be a to to proclaim yourself as a legend or does other people have to call you a legend all right so i don't know but if you guys think uncle's a legend let me know because that's what i'm trying to be and i and i only can think of being a legend if i can give you guys good levels and price action analysis so we can all be successful Anyways, I love NVDA. Did I give you the plan for now? Oh, let me give you the plan. Got too excited. Um, Right now, you know we've been on an uptrend on NVDA for quite some time. But the most recent one was from June 7th low all the way up here to June 20th high. June 21st high. Now the 50% FIB level is at 406.73. If that can recapture... It will put my level of 409.5 and that 412 level back in play. Look to long above 409.5 and 412. All right? Don't worry about not catching the bottom. You don't got to catch the bottom, especially with a volatile stock like NVDA. You just got to enter on string. So I'll recapture a 409.5 and especially 412. Look to long with 414.5, 419 or higher back in play okay now if it could stay ab below 46.7 that's bearish look for a breakdown of 404 401 point uh yeah 401 uh 399 and 396.5 below all right so overall stay bearish below 46.7 uh look to long above 412 you can long 409.5 if you want to all right, those are the levels that I got. Those are the setups I am going to stick with. All right, and I, I hope you guys make a shit ton of money tomorrow. Here's the VIX. Got a nice gap up on the VIX. Uh, it managed to recapture my four, four, my 14.16 level. That's my 1.236 FIB level. Uh, as long as it's above, maybe we can see more upside. I need to see it recapture or clear 15 to 15.5 zone. Definitely above 15.5, be a lot more bullish on the VIX, favoring uh, 16.7 and closer to the 18 level in play. That would be pretty good for bears too if VIX can bounce here. Otherwise, if it dropped back below 14.16 or 13.3, unfortunately that would be bearish. We can possibly uh, see more lower targets back in play with 12.6, 11.9, and 10.9. Now, if you don't like trading the VIX, can try the uh, the VVIX, all right. 
Uh, I have support at 95. You want to be bearish? Break down 95 and 93.5 to put 92.5, 90.6, and 89.5 in play. Now, if you're if you're a bull, you want to see VVIX stay above 95 and clear 97. All right, long above 97, or you can look to long as long as above 95. But definitely long break of 97 to put 99, 100.3. And gap fill at 103.8 ish in play. All right, now let's end this with the option flow. Start. With, let's start with dark pool first. 433.2 is the level with the most uh, activity, with 1.4 billion in premium. And spy close around this level. It close lower than this level. Excuse me. So, with that much activity around 433.2. Good idea to stay bearish as long as below it, all right? I did mention to long above 432.7, but you can definitely reference 433.2 as a pivot level. That's all we use these for as pivot levels. So we know when to short, we know when to long, and we know when to cut loss, all right? 433.2 is a dark pool level, all right? Option flow for SPY filtering for 500K premiums or above. I want to see what big money is stinking. And big money is very, very bearish. 78,000 contracts into puts. All right? If it bounced tomorrow, because look at these bearish contracts. 428 strike price, you know, over 15,000 size for June 3rd. If it does, if SPY don't drop tomorrow, I'm saying... I'm going to start inversing these things. And I'm going to start recommending people to do it. I'm not doing it yet. But uh, if there's more evidence, I mean, if you guys probably started without me, but if there's more evidence, I'm telling you, I will inverse these things. I've been inversing in them anyways. Um, not inverse them. I'm following price action. You guys know what I mean. 69% percent inputs for triple Q. IWM, 100% all inputs for IWM. Apple... I'm not even going in order. 100% in calls after putting a new all-time high. Tesla, 59% in the puts, 41% in the calls. Pretty mixed right there. Meta, anyone trade Meta? All into calls. There's only 500 contracts. That's not worth mentioning. NVDA, 62% in the calls, 38% in the puts. And what's up with the VIX? 95% in the calls. Sorry, guys, I can't sing. Apologize about that. Uh, I'm going to end the video now, but thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more content from Uncle Charter, and some cool trade ideas that can help you, guide you, and make you money, can't guarantee it, but I'll definitely support you, man. You want more support from Uncle? Definitely join my Discord. I greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, have a good evening, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.